hi, I made another Blender add-on. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted my first add-on and I made a video about it. And that one was about the this device down here, which you can see on the bottom left of your screen, a so-called end-off device. End-off is for numbers of degrees of freedom. Um, this is the 3D connection space mouse and it has six degrees of freedom. And this end-off device can be used to navigate through the viewport. And in the last add-on, I fixed a, well, I would call it bug, but an, an annoyance in Blender where you cannot get out of the fixed um, orthographic or camera views using one of these devices. So people saw that video and actually told me that in other 3D applications, it is also possible to move and rotate objects using one of these devices. And that is not possible in Blender, so I set out to create another Blender add-on. I don't know how useful this is. Yeah, I think it was a Cinema 4D or I don't know what other applications actually have this feature that you can transform objects and not the viewport using the space mouse. So, well, my add-on, um, you can see here, it is already installed. It is now called End of Object Transformer. So this is the old one from the other video and the other uh, add-on. And the object transformer also has preferences. It has a translation speed and a rotation speed. Obviously, the higher the value, the faster um, the object will move or rotate. And if you want to disable one of these, or, well, both doesn't really make any sense. If you want to disable one of these, just set the speed to zero. Now, with this uh, add-on enabled, it is now possible. So I'm using this device now on the bottom left. And you can see I'm navigating the viewport. And if I hit uh, Control shift m on my keyboard, uh, down here you get a little notification end of transform is on. And now I'm rotating and moving the object. So move pushing uh, the, uh, the space mouse forward is moving it along the uh, y-axis and moving it back basically and pulling it towards you is moving it towards you on the y-axis. Of course, left and right is the x-axis and up and down is the c-axis. And then we have rotation. This is the c-axis. This would be the y-axis and this would be the x-axis. So now we can transform, we can manipulate an object in the 3D viewport. At the moment, the add-on can only uh, move and rotate a single object, the active object, okay? So I cannot select another object on top of that, it is still only just rotating or moving the active object. So maybe there is a way to uh, fix that or to add that in the future. Same thing as last time, if you want to get this add-on, uh, the link is in the video description down below. It is over on GitHub. All you have to do is get the Python file, download that, and then go in here and go install from disk, pick that uh, Python file, and then you have it in here. I personally, I don't really like the end of uh, translation. So I would set the speed of that to zero and then I can only rotate. But maybe, I don't know, whatever you're used to, maybe you're coming from a, a different software, maybe you want to do that. And of course you can get out of this mode by hitting Control Shift M again and then the end of transform is off again. You can also, so I'm back into uh, viewport navigation now. You could also, let me switch it on again, you can also just hit uh, escape and then you're out of end of transform as well. So please check out the GitHub page if you're a Python or Blender developer. Uh, maybe you know a way how we could actually improve this to be able to um, transform multiple selected objects, all of the selected objects. And if you have any other ideas, just drop me a note down below. I hope this add-on can help you and if you like it, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and you can support my efforts on patreon.com slash chrisp. Thanks for watching. See ya.